Yeah. Good boy for him. Good boy for him. Okay, this is a gag bit test. Um, just to show how this thing works, I actually dragged this thing out of a trunk. It's a old polo bridle. This is actually a double mouthpiece gag. It's a horrible instrument. I'm doing this only for demo. You can see from the condition of the bridle, this thing has not been used in about 25 years. It's a complete piece of crap and should never be on a horse. Um, it's got a drop nose band with it too. Again, complete piece of crap. I'm just going to pull that up over his head to get it out of the way. Okay, so here's our gag bit. It's on the horse. He's holding it naturally. It's driving him crazy. This horse is actually ridden bridleless. He is well bridled in a curb bit. He is shown. This is not a green animal. So, now the bit... Stand Ripley. He's really hating this thing. This is the bit at rest, hanging. The uh, cheek piece is vertical. The reins are at the bottom. Very light pull. I am barely touching this rein. You can see it start to crank. I don't even have five pounds of pressure on it. The bit has completely rotated. You can see the wrinkle at the side of his mouth already pulling up. This is not even pressure. This, The amount of pressure I'm putting on it standing still is not what would stop him. Okay, so now we're going to try to follow him and walk him forward. And my daughter's going to put the pressure on him to stop it. And he's picking up the bit like that. That is, is not held in his mouth. Okay, now stop him. Oh, head tossing up immediately and again wrinkle. Okay, pull on the reins to back him. You can see the lift, 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 lift. And the bit, the cheek piece is turned parallel to the ground when she's using it to back. So that's how a gag bit works.